From Wicked RPG, I saw a toolbar items you had in Reaper in one of your videos that said shrink to and stretch to X. What are the actions you used for those? Great question. Actually not sure if I've ever shown these in a video. It may have been in one of my video editing course videos. Shrink X2, stretch X2. So I've got an item here, press shrink X2, it shrinks it, changes the play rate to 2x. I can do the stretch X2 and just doubles the size. I've got that. I've also got this other action. So let's say I've got a selection here and then I run this action. That's going to shrink just the section and, and ripple edit over. Well, it ripples the, the whole project, but uh, it fills the gap. And I use that for video editing a lot. So those actions, time compressed selected items by half and time stretch selected items by two. These are SWS actions. And then the other one was shrink item by half and ripple gap, select item under mouse cursor, select only tracks with selected items, disable auto crossfade on split, split items at time selection, time compressed selected items by half, quantize items end to grid, change length, set time selection to items, move at a cursor right to edge of item, select time between items on same track, which is another custom action, and time selection, remove contents of time selection, moving later items. Because it's for video editing, you want to be on a frame grid, so that's why that quantize function's there. It's going to split the item, shrink it, then there's this gap, so the edit cursor or time selection goes here. Make sure that it's quantized. It's going to automatically find this, this gap between items, which is this shortcut I have. And then remove contents of selection or moving later items. It does that. And when I'm video editing, I might just do this and I've got it on a thumb button on my mouse and it, yeah, this shrinks it real quick. Very useful thing. And then sort of related to that, I have this other button, this snowflake icon, that's going to set the item play rate to one. Essentially in a video edit, that's giving me a freeze frame. So that's the same as double clicking, going here to playback rate, setting this to zero. Did I say one? I meant zero. So that just becomes like this infinitely long drone. And I use that for making a freeze frame. I'll take a single frame, set it to freeze, and then I can stretch it out. And so this script is probably very simple. Count media items for each item get its info, set the play rate to the lowest possible level or number, and then update the arrange. Pretty simple. Made by Christian Fillion for me. I don't think that's a public script, but screenshot that and you can make it yourself.